Hey everybody, this here is the third and final installment in this three-part video series on this product review about this brand new Yitta Home Sputnik Chandelier Ceiling Fan model. Um, the model number is let's see here, ZSWY-V1. At least I'm pretty sure that's what the model That's what's listed on the manual. That might just be the model number of the manual. Um, TLC FLS 00-0011. I think that might be the model number. Um, either way, it's called the Sputnik Chandelier ceiling fan model, and um, it is currently available on Amazon um, or on Yeta Homes website. I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to their store where you can purchase this. Um, and they have graciously gifted me this a test product um, just to review. So if you saw my first two videos, you saw the unboxing and the installation, of course. And so it's only fitting that we finish off with the testing portion. So the ceiling fan is in this gorgeous um, soft gold tone. The blades are reversible from this sort of dark ash sort of finish to a bleached oak, which is more traditional. Um, I chose the dark ash finish, but um, I, I can do a video with the flip side showing if I get enough requests to do so. Um, it's got this absolutely wild light kit. It's got eight globes. They're all these circular frosted globes. Um, and it's in the style of an old, like, Sputnik style chandelier. That's why it's called the Sputnik, obviously. Now the fan is remote controlled, and I'm gonna show you the remote right here. So as you can see, it has three speeds, high, medium, low. It has an on-off switch for the light. There isn't a dimmer on this one, unfortunately, um, just on and off. And there, down here, there's a timer. Um, now I haven't read up in the manual yet. I think the timer may be for the fan motor. I'm not sure if it also controls the light. But um, I think that is, I think the timer is just for the fan. Um, you can mount the remote, whoops. <laughs> as I was saying, as it fell off, you can mount the remote with this mounting bracket on the wall if you desire. Um, one thing to beware, the remote does not come with a battery. Um, it takes a, what's the, what type battery is this? Type A23 battery, like, so like the same type that you'd, get for like a wireless doorbell button um, but yeah not a huge deal um, I'm gonna demonstrate the light now so you can see um, eight light bulbs um, throws out a lot of light um, I think one thing that I would like to see is a dimmer function um, if they were to revise the design a bit because I think that the eight lights is a bit much I mean, it might work for like a dining room setting or possibly like a, I don't know, like task lighting, but for ambiance, I feel like it needs that dimmer, but it is really pretty with the lights all lit up, um, as you can see. So turn that off and now let's start the fan up on high. So the fan, it's three speeds on the remote but then it does have a reverse switch on the side of the nose, so it is reversible. So there's your high speed. And I have to be honest with you, I am quite impressed. I mean, obviously it's no Hunter original or um, gold line, but it's doing the job. It's moving. It's moving a lot of air. It's blowing all my papers around over there on the cabinet. There is a slight bit of wobble. I think that might be from my box being loose, but um, I did balance it a little bit. So, but I feel like if you installed this like straight out of the box onto like an actual like recessed box in the ceiling, it wouldn't. You wouldn't have that problem. So, um, let's turn it to medium, and as you can hear, the relay clicks inside of the 
the uh, receiver and it um, turns the fan off and then we'll turn it back on the next speed. So that's medium speed. It's a pretty fast medium. Also the motor is really quiet. And like I mentioned in the last video, the motor isn't terribly huge, but um, it packs a punch for its size really. This is a very nice medium speed actually, very nice functional medium. And finally, low. Now the low speed is just a little fast for my taste. I mean, this is really just my opinion, and I think a lot of other fan collectors would agree that you know, those slow aesthetic lows when you can see all the details of the fan spinning. I think especially on an elegant fan like this, you, you could probably benefit from a slower low speed. Now you can, if you want, wire it without the remote receiver and put it on a three speed control, I believe, because if you take the remote out, it's probably just a single speed motor um, with a light kit. Um, then you'd have to cut the wiring harness off and that would probably reward the warranty. Um, so you could do that if you wanted to get a slower low speed, but I think that the capacitor values in the receiver could be adjusted a bit to compensate for a better low speed. But that being said, I do feel some air from it on low speed, so it does work as a good functional low. I'm going to, I guess I'll turn the light kit on again and show you with the light on with the fan spinning. Okay, I'm going to put it back up to high. And put up the speed. And we're going to spin it down now. And I'm not expecting a terribly great spin down time because this is obviously a brand new motor, hasn't been run long enough for the bearings to be broken in. It's a little stiffness. Not terrible, but yeah, probably could stand to be run for a couple hours to break in those bearings some more. So I'm going to go up here and uh, flip the reverse switch. This will be the first time I'm testing it in reverse. So we'll start it up on low. I'm not sure why when I saw the pictures, first saw the pictures on the website of this fan, I thought that the reverse switch was a like a remote or manual switch, like to switch it between remote operation and analog operation, but there's no pull chain, so that that wouldn't work. Okay, so that's low and reverse, turn that to medium. like the wobble may be better in reverse actually. It's not wobbling at all. And whoa, I just moved the camera. I think. Or did I no. It was something. No, that was this cord. Okay. Every time I feel something being pushed over, I freak out a little bit. Okay. High speed. 
Okay, there's a little bit of wobble, but it's not that bad. I am feeling some air. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Now, our up close view here. So, of course, you saw this up close when I was unboxing it, but now you get to see it assembled. So, you can see this really just amazing light kit. I love this light kit. If they sold this as like a separate chandelier or like a light fixture, I'm just saying that would be a that would be something that would be very interesting. I would like to see that. Um, like a set of light fixtures to go with this fan. That would be pretty cool. Um, there's those really nice looking blades that would go well with like modern hardwood floors that you see. And it also comes with bleached oak on the other side, as I showed in the unboxing and assembly. Um, the reverse switch is right there, and it has arrows to show you which direction the blades turn, which is very handy. Um, canopy and the mounting and everything, the down rod, the tag is up there. The, we've got some model information taggers at the one that just says blades must be above seven feet. Oh, nope, that's a, so the model number is T, TLCL, TLCFLS-0011. So... Not that first number I said. So, um, I think my only complaints with this model are, like, basic lo logistic things. Like, it didn't come with any light bulbs, so I had to go around looking for candelabra-based light bulbs, which was kind of annoying, but that's not a huge deal. Um, most people just buy light bulbs separately anyways. Um, the fact that the remote didn't come with a battery was a little annoying, but, again, not a huge deal. I had a spare. Um, I think there could be some sort of ring or something on the bottom of the canopy that hides those screws because you got your collar cover there on top of the motor housing. Um, and yeah. Oh, and also there's no vent screen here in the faceplate. Um, maybe a vent screen could be added. But it's not a huge detail. You can't really even tell if you're not looking. Um, but other than that, I... Whoa, just dropped a half an original canopy. Um, yeah, no, I really am impressed by this fan and this company. Um, I'm very, I was very thrilled when they reached out to me to do like a collaboration. And I am... I'm looking forward to see what, what other products they have in store for us. So again, I'm going to put the link to this fan and to their store for all their other products. Um, and uh, just let me know how you guys thought about this video series and if you want to see anything more. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, and one more thing I wanted to show you guys. This is the manual that came with it. It also came with this little flyer here with the in for like a business card type thing. Very nice. Um, but here's the manual. I didn't show this in the unboxing video, and I said I was going to. Um, there's that. That's the model number that I thought it was, and that's its actual model number. So. I'm not going to show everything in huge detail. If you want to read anything, you can just pause. But the instructions are very detailed, so... They do give a, a good sort of background. An easy to follow wiring diagram, that's always a helpful thing.
Oh, and there's information about the reversing directions. They really got it all covered. Yeah. They definitely know their stuff. I'm very highly impressed with Yetta Home. Okay, and then I think there's like a troubleshooting section on the back here, which is again, they just thought of everything. And there's nothing on this page. And then the reverse. So, yeah, I think that is about everything for this video. So that is the uh, product review and demonstration. And this concludes, I guess, this video series of this product review. So thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thanks once again to Yetta Home for sending this. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and there will be more to come.